guys it's hot can you tell my days i'm boiling i'm actually boiling i did a little 5k this morning i don't really want to do anything else because it, i'm just wet i could just feel like down my neck when i was running i was like Ugh. <laughs> but 5k in the bag and i didn't stop i'd just like to let you know i didn't stop every single time i do a park run at the minute sorry i'm just talking to you about running suddenly every single time i go on a park run i stop at about two and a half three k i think and oh my god i just i can feel the sweat dripping on me oh sorry oh my god oh um anyway so i tasked myself this morning with simply just not stopping and doing a 5k um complete i did it I had a fantastic playlist. I didn't update mine, um, but I was just going through like my liked songs and like queuing them up because I knew the ones that give me that oomph. I've got a big old to-do list this morning. Like having my breakfast this morning, I was like typing it out on my phone. So we've got direction today, guys. We're not gonna be like a wallowing little mess. I finished my 30 days of summer outfits as well yesterday. I did a little roundup on Instagram. If you guys haven't seen those, I have uploaded a couple onto shorts. It's not fully, like they're not fully finished and I don't say that they're 30 days of outfits either. They're just uploaded on there. But if you want to check any of them out, they are on my LTK, which I can link down below. Um, there's like a whole folder for them. But yeah, that's, that's done now that's wild to me i've got like some invoices to send off i've got emails to just sort of like prompt some people with yeah i think i said to you last week we're going to london on wednesday it's the first time i've been to london in such a long time i'm trying not to go too often to like if i get invited to like one event i don't really tend to go i see like if they have like pr mailers and stuff and then i'll like promote it in that sense rather than spending like 50 60 pounds on a train ticket and then it's like another 20, 30 quid on food. And then it just ends up being hundred pound every single time I go. And I just can't warrant paying that much every single time I go to London. And I was doing that like a good couple of times a month. And I was like, gully, why are you spending four, 500 pound every single month going to London when you, you just simply, plain simply, you cannot afford to keep doing that. And you want to save for a house. So that 500 pound could have been used to the, that 500 pound could have been, you know, put in a house deposit. So we are thinking a little bit more like in that sense because me and guy really want to get buying somewhere you know, in the next couple of years so that's us and yeah so i'm going down to london i think for the first time in like well over a month i don't think i've been down to london when the last time i went to london i couldn't i literally couldn't even tell you i li i no idea i feel like june <laughs> i'm just I need to have a shower. I feel so grim. I might have a cold shower, actually. I really enjoy doing that. Is that a bit psychotic? Probably. I'm gonna be a little admin gully this morning, um, and then this afternoon I'm going to head over to my sister and her three friends house and little Isabel's house. I have seen her like three times now, and every single time I keep saying to um, to Guy and just like my family, I just feel like it's just not real. I feel like like you're gonna pinch me soon, and it's just all gonna be a dream. And I just don't feel like it, like I've literally cuddled her and held her so many times already, and it's just so mad to me that she's just real. And I just I love it. I do. I love it. I'm not gonna share like too much of her on socials and stuff like initially obviously i wanted to share like a lot of her because i was like look she's here she's here but like i every single time that i potentially like post about her i do ask meg um okay can i post about her you can say no let me know you can say no but she's not too bothered i think it's me that's being like is it okay she doesn't care but i'm just like being cautious because i know that some people don't want to have their kids online versus other people that obviously are mum influencers and that's absolutely fine i don't care about you know that's your thing not mine why am i going off about mum influencers i literally i you know they are fantastic people for the most part some of them peculiar i'm going off on a tangent now i'm not talking about it <laughs> We 
actually just did have the most eventful morning. Happy Monday, I guess. A pigeon flew into this woman's garden last night. She noticed this morning it had like a um, like tag on the on its foot, on its ankle. Um, so she came and knocked on our door this morning and I was just like, hi? And she said, is there a man in the house? And I was like, yeah yeah there is and she goes i've got a pigeon it's like right she said that it's a racing pigeon um and i, I kind of need some help like collecting it and like getting it into a cage so she can like ring whoever up and get it to be collected um it's like bold of you to assume that i couldn't catch a pigeon before you came but fine so me and guy both got over to like one of the neighbor's gardens and she's just kind of like standing there with this pigeon <laughs> I was just like, right. But um, when we like went to approach it, it like tried to fly, but it, it like literally just can't. I think it might have been a bit damaged or something. Maybe like another bird has gotten to it or something, but um, it literally could not even fly up a meter. But we managed to get the tag number. We got it into like a little cage for holding purposes uh, and then we've left her to it. So um, hopefully the owner will find the pigeon. Um, Racing pigeons is such a funny idea. Like, I just didn't even think that would be a thing. I don't know, but I just thought it was really funny that me and Guy just randomly turned up into this woman's garden. Slay garden, by the way. Um, and we were just, you know, trying to coax this poor pigeon into a cage so it could get picked up. Like, where has it come from? We were literally like, it, it could come from, like, up north. Something you literally don't know like, where it's flown from. It could just literally just be Suffolk. But, like, where has it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Can't I Joe? What are my plants? Um, excuse me, what, what's happened here? What, what's happened here? Although, we've got another galley here, another head here, another head here, another head here, another head here, and another head down there. So actually, although she's been chomped to absolute oblivion, I do believe it's all right. Next month, or actually this month, actually for you, in August, they've actually got a sunflower picking. They do like sunflower picking every August. Um, at like Ruffham. I think I might have shown you that or spoken to you about that before. We're definitely gonna go and we're gonna bring girly home. Oh Isabel, it's gonna look so flipping cute. She's still gonna be like, but could be so flipping wholesome. We're gonna dress her up and she's gonna look so flipping cute. Anyway, I need to now do my plants. <laughs> happy monday to me i got an email from um pinterest i have like a pinterest community thing so like a bunch of pinterest creators get selected to go onto like this little community thing i think i might have spoken to you about it last week they were running like a summer competition and i didn't actually see until afterwards like the day afterwards and do you remember last week i literally uploaded a bunch of pins well i then decided to go through and edit them and add the hashtag that they were using for the um challenge and i actually won I got 250 quid in Airbnb vouchers. How sick is that? I never win anything. 
I just thought it was really sick. Um, so I got the so I got the video pin winner and yeah, winning pin. Oh my god, I get to see what the winning pin is. Pin not found. That's good. I oh know this one. Which is literally just a repost of my summer outfits. My 30 days of summer outfits. I just reposted that and it won. Like I think I uploaded I can't even remember how many I uploaded last week. I uploaded like quite a lot all at once and it just so happened I managed to see that email and just edit my pins with the hashtag in and be in the chance of winning and that's just so sick like uh, not me so I think me and Guy are going to probably look at booking somewhere I don't know whether to go a little UK staycase for the summer and like do something in August but then I'm also thinking do we do something for like autumn time when it might be a little bit cheaper so we could go for a little bit longer or I don't know we'll see The makeup needs to last today, so we're studio fixing. I'm going to London today for a PLT event. I just know that train, well, actually I think the tube, uh, the train will be okay, but the tube is going to be wild. So I have actually got, got my fan charging. It's on 81% at the minute, so we should be good by the time I need to go. Smart move, yeah, I know. I might also be seeing Lizzie if our um, if the stars align. I'm hoping they do, because it'd be fab to see her. I haven't seen her since. I don't last see each other. I think we went to theirs, so that'd be really cute. I hope the stars align and we can see each other. I am giving it low-key a little bit like scared.com because I haven't obviously been to London in a long long time. I'm probably going to be looking at all the buildings like oh my god what's it's a big four. <laughs> it says from 1 until 2 p.m you're going to be like hosted and I think there's like a bit of a talk and stuff so I'm going to make sure to get there on time so I can like see that and then you know I'm not just kind of like standing about being awkward you know there's actually things going on which I like. You can just kind of like have a little bit of a sit even if I don't see anybody I know I can have a bit of a sit and then um, obviously watch the presentation or the talk whatever it's gonna be i haven't put any spf on my face today i might put this on the top invisible finish i might put this on afterwards right that's being put to the side for afters for afters like a dessert i thought i'd be getting off at um tottenham court road i thought i'd get the lizzie line do tottenham court road and be there Good job, I googled it. Well done, Ab. Well done. I do this so much. I did this um, a couple of weeks ago when um, we had the stackers day a couple of weeks ago. Not about where it was, obviously they had the address on there. They had on there like arrivals from 12 o'clock and in my head I was like, half 12. Didn't even look at it again. I was like, yeah, it's half 12, it's half 12. And I didn't even think to look at the um, invite until um, like I think Jess and Maria had left. And I was like, oh, they're even quite early. And then I checked the invite and it said, obviously, 12 o'clock. And I was like, well, for fuck's sake, I'm not gonna make it on time now. I'm gonna be half an hour late. And I wasn't the last person there to be fair, but it's just so annoying. Like, I don't know why my brain just does it. My brain just goes, oh yeah, so it's this. No, <laughs> if I'd spoken to any other person, they would have corrected me and all would have been well. Well, like I said, at least I've checked before I've actually gotten there. My blush is very blushing today as well. Like the gully is blush blind today. You know they say talk about blush blindness? Yeah. Vlogatron, here she is. So last minute, 
a little blonde has uh, joined me. Oh, hey, yeah. A little blonde. And we're here for a little 18th birthday party for Second my, Glory. My, my pink dress. So you've got your pink old. dress, is it? Yes, yeah, it's years old. Oh, yeah, it's the picnic, you said. When was that? 2022? Oh, my God. Oh, no. And she's just had it in the wardrobe. Sustainable queen. And you're sparkly. You've got like, a sparkly oh, chest. Oh, I put some of your um, autumn stuff on before I left. Yeah. Did you? I literally went. It was I mean, I, I freshly tanned, you can't tell. Oh my god, well I freshly tanned yesterday. Oh, okay, so it's not too bad. No. But I'm I don't even know you can hear any of this, but yeah, here we go. It's so it's so We're now making the Spectaculous cocktail. Look at her go. This is actually a dark blue. I don't know if you'll be able to see the lighting on it. Yeah. It's Italicus. That's brand new. Like it's just like turquoise, like really you going to this? Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. This is the spectacular. It's got strong blue pea flower flower tea. Strong blue, strong blue, strong blue 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 tea. Bergamot liqueur Strong and blimbly. soda citric acid blend mixture. I love soda citric acid. And what do you think mixture. about it, Queen? And yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Slang. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, is anyone here making non apple oil? I am. One apple Great. So this is the only extra green that, or, that you need. Okay. It's called algarve. Oh, wow. Right. No, almarve. Almarve. Oh, oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Non alcoholic spirits are really good. My mum doesn't drink a bit and she, she's loving the non alcoholic gin. Thank you, right here. Marvellous, marvellous. Mila, uh, you also need one of these. A little uh, cocktail measure, a jigger. Um, that one actually has a little sign. And once that's in, that goes straight to the jigger. Are you going to put lemon juice in? That's the brim. That's all we want. Glorious. Yeah, it's almost like a, a test, isn't it? Like how much more do I want to fill it? Yeah, do I test it? Do I test it? Yeah, it's a little size. wine on it. Yeah, yeah there is. Yeah. It pops with it. <laughs> there we go. I know it's like the other way. What's your drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's cold! Yeah! Is this a small shaker? It'll, it'll, it'll mix? That's it? This is what I messed up last time. I took the whole thing off. Yeah. Oh, no. There you go. Could be a nice first photo opportunity. Yeah. Oh, you're not even going to be able to see it. You haven't got the No, I know. Oh yeah, that's it. Hopefully, we nozzle into the liquid. You hold it about this high from the cocktail. Mm -hmm. You press the trigger. Once the bubble's built, you release the trigger and you bring it down on top of the glass. Oh, it looks so sick. Right, we've got to try and remember. Pressing the trigger, so just dip in first. That's it, and then bubble down on top of the drink. So I press the trigger. Then release it once the bubble's made. Release it. And now bring it down on top of the ground. Oh no! Right, so that's it. Over the top. Smells nice. Once it's built, release the trigger. Go on, that's my queen. And then bring it down on top of the... Oh! oh. Okay. Now release the trigger. And then bring it down on top of the drink so... Oh! Come on, come on. You've got this. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Whee! Got the little umbrellas. The little cocktail umbrellas. And I've just put one in my drink. Soap and Glory bathroom. Look at this. 
Oh, it's even got little ducklet. <laughs> That's the cutest thing ever. We've got a Soaking Glory robe. That feels spectacular. So nice. I want that robe. That's glorious. Well, Maria's found her favourite food ever. Her salmon and her <laughs> eggs. Eggs. Caviar. 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 Have you ever had? I think I had it with you actually. Taste test. Caviar taste test. Taste test. Oh, I should probably get one with a decent bit on then actually. Oh! What's this a fishy for? <laughs> no, I like that a lot. I'll have another one then. I want this cake for my next birthday. Alright, Maria? You've got to make this. She's got another one. You need to make this for my birthday next year. Have a go. Huh? I'll make whatever you want. <laughs> I want. I and, want this. And uh -huh. I've got delivery notification today to say that the kind of your present died. Right. Has it finally arrived? It's not arrived. It's on oh, the way. It's on the way. <gasps> From Jelly Cat themselves, or is it? Has it been a mission? I can't wait to hear the mission. Who did you see earlier? Who did I see earlier? Lizzie. She's been helping me. She's been helping you on the scavenge. I'm absolutely buzzing. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I then decided to pop into House of CB on Oxford Street because they've got the first ever store. I think it might be just a flagship or just a normal store, I don't know. I don't know House of CB's in vote, okay? But they had the most stunning dresses. I got my first House of CB dress on Vintage a month or so ago and I've fallen in love, I won't lie. I'm not about to spend £200 on a dress, but I absolutely love them. I tried on three dresses in store. Firstly, this little gingham dress. I went to the polo with Maria and Abercrombie the other month and I saw a girl wearing this when we went and did the stamp the stamping out the pitch thing and I absolutely loved it. Again, not gonna spend two hundred pounds on a dress, but stunning scenes. It looks like you can remove the straps on here as well. And then I tried this gorgeous red milkmaid sort of dress on. I love the ruching at the sides and the way that it just like popped my waist out. Sorry, waist. My waist does not normally look like that. I know I've got a little bit of waist, but hello, hourglass. And I love the little halter neck detail. Just stunning vibes all round. I'll tell you what isn't stunning though, this white dress. There was a mark on it and this was literally the most expensive one. I think it was supposed to be more like a bridal dress. Um, What is that neckline? What is happening? Why are my boobs hanging out? <laughs> Good morning, my little cinnamon rolls. Yesterday was the cutest day. I don't feel like I really got a chance to speak to you a lot. There was just so much going on and I wanted to fit a lot in to the time that I had available in London. Obviously, first things first, we went to the PLT showroom. I actually saw quite a few people that I followed and I, as I arrived, we went into like this PLT. It was, it, was it like a focus group? I'm giving a bit of a focus group, I won't lie, when like, like a load of the girls were like, giving them really useful um, like information and like things they would change and things they would add to you know things in their ranges when they come out with curve. It was a whole curve event so like everybody there would be in curve PLT pieces and yeah you got to speak to the buying team as well as that the um I can't remember what her name was but she had just come out with a curve um collection with plt and like we kind of briefly spoke about that but then most of the panel was basically them asking the influencers that were there you know like how can we improve our next couple of ranges you know and someone mentioned like the straps being too thin on dresses and for some people that are like bigger busted she said look some of us obviously don't have bigger busts like you could see around the room which was so incredible the fact that there was like people obviously with bigger busts people with not bigger busts people with like all different shapes and sizes and I really just loved that because it really felt like a proper moment I don't know it was really really nice and I got to select a couple of pieces from the new collection and from their summer collections as well which is really sick so I thought I'd show you a bit a couple of bits and pieces from there first things first I really wanted this red cohort i don't think i got a picture in it because it was a size they had basically in the showroom they would have like one or two sizes on display and then you'd have to ask if you needed like a different size so there was a red version of this and it was like a red skirt and then oh they got the white top here it was like 
a red top it wasn't like this at all though it was kind of like this but it had ties at the front and you know that sort of like poplin oh my god this lighting's looking really weird bear with yeah it was like red and it had like tie ups here and then it was like a red skirt and it looked so flipping nice it was like this linen-y material but they didn't have it in my size but they had the white version in my size and i thought this would look really cute how long is it going to take for me to stain this though if i wore this today and then isabel just like chucked up on me yeah yeah <laughs> i am seeing her today um we're going to see her with my auntie and cousin there officially meeting her which is going to be so wholesome and cute i've got like a little elasticated bit here and it's actually elasticated so you can um like tighten it at the bottom if you'd want to depending on like what the vibes are maybe i'll like try these on afterwards um and then i also got this in a size 16 both of them are size 16 by the way got a linen skirt to go with it a very big like puffy one as well this looks like gigantic be excited to see what it looks like on obviously i think these because i don't know if you could see it's giving a little bit like sheer it's giving like see-through vibes so i think they're definitely more like beachy sort of vibes they're like white linen-y stuff like i don't really wear a lot of white i'm a clumsy bitch i am a clumsy bitch it's probably not a good idea anyway then yeah i've got some leopard print trousers i think i'm gonna wear these to death in autumn and like i know it's been quite a thing now obviously it's quite warm so i don't really want to be wearing leopard print jeans um but i saw these i haven't actually tried these on i think they're going to be quite long for me this is the thing a lot of the curved things and as well actually some of the like core cool range they're quite long on me i'm five foot four so quite a short ass there were quite a lot of short and taller curve women at this plt event again which was so fab because you got to see so much feedback about obviously different heights i said earlier as well like different busts and like stomachs and things like that like so so interesting about like people as well with their arms that were like oh you know some people get a little bit people are sometimes concerned about like showing their arms off and stuff and she said i don't really care about that but like i think sometimes plt they'll the, the, the arms are too tight some dresses and things that they do like you know like the cut out ones not like the cut out cold shoulder top the ones that are like you have like a strap a strap and then you have like a long thing that you like pull your arm into apparently sometimes they can be a bit too tight and they were like well why are you doing that for them to make them bigger exactly um but these are the trousers i actually didn't try these on like i think i said i just whacked them around my head and they meet so well, i'm hoping they're good and they are the plus leopard print wide leg denim jeans in brown and i might have to take them up they are a bit of a raw hem as you can see here so if they don't fit i can cut them and that will be fine i can't wait to wear them obviously when it's a bit colder i'm not going to be wearing them right now because i cannot be doing that and then i saw this now i don't know if i showed you this in the trial clip but it's too long for me far too long for me it's the um striped like jumpsuit thing um it's called i'll link all of these down below if i can find them um the blue striped bandeau cotton pleated detail wide leg jumpsuit they said SEO guys. Again, I got this in a 16 and they've got like the rubbery bit at the front for your boobs. Far too long for me again. Um, so I'm gonna have to take this up. I have got like Wonderweb, so I can uh, just Wonderweb that and that'll be really nice. I actually really like the quality of this as well. It's really thick. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it, it just is really thick and lovely. So I shall Wonderweb that girly and get a look in really cute because that is if it was just like a little bit cropped so i could just like wear a little sandal or something like that fantastic and then last but not least i got another little poplin shirt because i really do like these i think they're really sweet i've got a white one and a white and yellow florally one from h&m they are quite tight because they only got to size medium medium and i was like well i want it let's try it on and it is a little bit tight on the top like obviously the tip bit because it's a medium and i would probably be a large yeah they're really really cute but like if i want to lift up or do anything with my arms it just goes and it's like up here uh but 
I got a cute little blue one, which I thought was really, really sweet. Little like puffball vibe. It does need a steam because I've just like obviously tucked it in the bag. But I've got a size 16 in that. And I just thought this. Again, when you with some like white linen trousers, again though, no. am I gonna get them dirty? Who knows? Or some white jeans. I have got white jeans, which would be really, really cute. But I just love this blue. And because I've got like bluey green eyes, I just thought it'd be a really cute little vibe actually before i show you the rest of what's in this bag i need to show you the most stunning bit of scrunchie that turned up at my door it's from a brand called fruff fruff yeah so flipping cute and she sent me these gorgeous scrunchies they're so thick i love them so i've got a little red scrunchie and then i've got a pink one as well i love the gingham it's so gorgeous she's got an etsy shop so i will whack her down below for you but i just thought like i love having my little buns i love having my little slick back buns and that's just gonna look so flipping cute i'm gonna slick back today actually so i might wear one of these two today i just love them they're just the right size of thickness as well and um all the ones that i have i end up double knotting and i probably shouldn't whereas this one is just gonna be like a one one thing job i thought she was just gonna send me one as well she said oh which one would you want and i sent her a screenshot of this design and i said oh if you've got red or pink or pink i did not expect her to send both she sent me both and i'm so excited so i'm gonna give her a little tag on instagram um and i of course like i said will show her i'll show her little biz down below as well for you so flipping cute thank you so much i think her name's betsy oh my god you've got such a cute name as well but yeah it's called fruff scrunchies which i absolutely love look at that i was then sort of like what do i do here and i don't want to take the mic and like start taking things and i like i didn't want to be that person that just goes around like taking all the freebies and like taking them out of house and home and i wanted to you know create a nice impression it's my first time so I was like, uh, can i take any of these products and they were like yeah 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 fill your bag and i was like oh okay i saw the rose and caramel um tan remover so many people on tiktok and tiktok shop go on about this as like and i think maria's used it and maybe jess and they absolutely love this they have like gone on about it when uh, they tried it so i'm gonna give it a little whirl because i have tanned i'm just gonna see what it looks like i can't get the bloody thing off oh, oh it's gray look at that it looks like uh cement <laughs> it looks like cement it smells bloody lovely though um and then i've got a couple of other bits as well i love this so so much i literally used it yesterday to slick back my hair because i didn't want to put gel in it but i just like stick back the odd little bit it's so flipping cute it's the two-in-one gel for brows and edges this one and then i haven't ever tried a nyx little lip oil before but i got the nyx fat oil lip drip in i think this is just a clear one um this one again it's like tiktok all of that i think you can get on tiktok shop i think you can get plt on tiktok as well and then on to so from glory now obviously celebrated 18 years of them and by joe did we get some goodies i'll show you we got a load of the original pink absolutely love this i don't know i don't think i filmed it but the cake was absolutely insane they even had products on top like they had one of these on top they had a butter on top open and then they had like the top bit like like cream just like at the top oh it looked so flipping cool i'll try and see if i got a clip obviously i'll know because i would have edited it and you would have seen it so you'd see how obviously insane it looked but it was wild it was such a cute night so we've got a body butter and a body scrub in the original pink i am actually going to keep these ones because i think when i got sent my first load of soap and glory i got really excited and i realized that my mum loved it so much so i gave loads to her specifically the original pink stuff so i haven't had the original pink stuff in so long and i i won't lie i am gonna keep one thanks sorry mum i am gonna keep that. especially the um body wash because i haven't used that in so long i just love the smell it's just so nostalgic lovely and then 
a lot of beauty. I think um, Soap and Glory are really like focusing on their beauty at the minute. So we've got loads of that. Also got a tiny little Soap and Glory cocktail shaker, which is the cutest thing I've seen in my entire life. What have we got here? Oh, the Spectaculips, which I think I've shown you guys before. This is it. It's actually really cute, but it is quite drying. I think I might have mentioned that last week or the week before. Like that was the only thing I used and I noticed that I was really, really dry, but obviously it's a lip oil, so it's probably gonna do that anyway. It's probably gonna dry your eyes light. And then we've got the pouch standing lip glosses. I really like the look of this like dark pink. Look at that. That looks really sick. Look at that. Look at that. They're jelly lip glosses. I might give that a little go. So we've got pink positive and pinkaboo, which is so flipping cute. Sorry, I've been yapping away for too long. Um, but last but not least, actually, is the sexy mother pucker instant cooling effect plumping lip gloss. And we've got shade nude edition and clear. This is them. How cool are they? I really love the packaging. It's really, really sick. It's like chaotic, but I really, really love it. I think it's so cool. Um, so yeah, that's in my goodie bag for Soap and Glory. And now, today, I've got quite a bit of editing that I need to do because, like I said to you, I got a lot done when I was in London. So we went to the PFC event, met up with Lizzie really, really quickly. She was in London um, working at the London Aquatic Centre. That's my queen. Um, and she got to meet Noah, Tom Daly's partner. Sorry, I don't follow the Olympics. Um, really should be. But he had gotten us they'd both gotten a silver medal and they'd come over there to do some press so she was over there you know slaying the day away yeah we met up in central just before i had to head off and um, meet up with maria and then after um after soap and glory obviously i've then got a broken bag <laughs> A broken bag so I'm carrying this bag I've got the PLT bag which I'm like you better not fucking break you better not fucking break I went into house of CB now oh my fucking god obviously that's the only store I think is it I think it's the only store it was absolutely fab loved the fact that I got to try on a bunch of dresses rather than spending like 800 pounds trying it all on and then sending them back because i didn't like the sizing or whatever i was really glad that i got to you know go around the store they actually had a lot of the l plus sizing which is what i am um if you guys are like a 14 to 16 like i'm a 14 top 16 bottom i was obviously a 16 in plt but i, I tend to be like a 14 16 sort of thing it depends obviously it's shop by shop but i have the l plus size in house of cb it 